Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwilash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered throughout all four corners of this earth. It's just by Yan back again through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem. Yahweh Shai. And uh, yeah, I woke up this morning with salvation on my mind, man. You know, so Lord willing, that's what we're going to get into. You know, salvation, which is going to come in the form uh, of the chariots, man. You know, you people outside of this truth, you ignorantly call them UFOs. Um, you think there's aliens, little green men flying in these uh, apparatuses that you see uh, in, the, in the heavens. No, man. Okay, these are... The vehicles of the heavens, man. These are the vehicles of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai. Okay? And by these chariots is how the elect of the nation of Israel, those that are deemed, okay, to be delivered via chariot, are going to be taken up out of this place, man, upon the destruction of, of Babylon and other areas of the, of, of the earth as well, where we've been scattered, man. Okay? Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai is going to work a strange work, a strange act, okay, which you can also read about in, uh, what's that, Isaiah 28. Okay, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to do things in these latter days. Hey, the scriptures go into how no longer will it be said, okay, that the Lord delivered us out of, out of Egypt, man. Okay, but the land of the north, it's going to be talked, that's what's going to be talked about. What's that, uh, Jeremiah, um, uh, I believe Jeremiah 16, uh, Jeremiah the 23rd chapter, it goes into it. You see, that's how the elect is going to get, 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 get up out of here, man. They're going to get beamed into charity. And this lesson is not for, you know, you individuals out there that lack faith, okay, that lack the in-depth uh, spiritual understanding, okay, for those of you that don't understand uh, the, the power, okay, of Israel. This lesson is not for you. This is for those of us that understand who we serve, okay. We know the power, okay, of our power <laughs> and that it's unlimited. Okay, and that anything is powerful, anything is possible with Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. You see? So through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, let's start here. Let's start here. In the book, bear with me. In the book of, um, let's go with the Habakkuk. The book of Habakkuk, chapter 1, and verse 5, and it reads, Behold, which means look, right? Behold ye among the heathen. Who's among the heathen? Us Israelites, man. Our so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. We're among the heathen. We've been scattered among the heathen, pursuing the Deuteronomy uh, 28 and 64, which is part of the curse we're under, man. But the Lord is telling you to look, okay? Behold ye among the heathen and regard, you see, and wonder marvelously. For I will work a work in your days, which ye will not believe, though it be told you, man. And through the spirit and power, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, we're going to get into um, one of these works, man. Okay, which is going to be, again, the deliverance, man. Okay, this is unbelievable to those out there that don't understand our power. Okay, those that, that are outside of the courts of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. This is unbelievable information. Okay, uh, being told that the elect of Israel is going to be beamed into chariots. But we're going to prove it through the scriptures. We're going to prove it through the scriptures. Let's go here. Let's start here in the book of Isaiah. You Aki Amin know where I'm going. The book of Isaiah. The book of Isaiah chapter 26. And I'm going to start at verse 20. And it reads, Come, 
my people. We have to we have to shine light on that. Okay, because there's a separation here. Alright, this is this is this here is gonna go is going into we're gonna continue to read. Come, my people, okay, enter thou into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it as as it were for a little moment until the indignation overpass. What is this talking about? What are these chambers? Okay? What are these doors that his people are being told to shut behind them, man? Eh? To be hid from the indignation, which is righteous anger that's coming by our power. This is talking about the chariots, man. Okay? And you can directly precept this with Revelations 11. As a matter of fact, let's go there. Because what, what, what this is going to prove is not only... Uh, <laughs> is, is the elect being beamed into the chariots uh, biblical and realistic you know a reality here but it goes hand in hand okay chronologically the order uh, that's going to come uh, after that is destruction okay because again the elect is going to be saved out of that fire man okay the fire that's coming in the form of these missiles is for the congregation of the ungodly man Okay, you can read about uh, read about that. What's that? Uh, Ecclesiasticus, Sirach 16 and 6, if I'm not mistaken. The book of Revelation, chapter 11. So I'm going to go straight to the point. In verse 12. And they heard a great voice. Matter of fact, I got to start at verse 11. The book of Revelation 11 and 11, and it reads, And after three days and a half, okay, and that three days and a half is from uh, 1619, Okay, to 1969, 1970, roughly. Okay, when Abba Bivens came on the scene and he was he was he was teaching the New and Old Testament. Okay, and uh, uh, he's he's also Elijah if you can believe it or not. Okay, Abba Bivens is Elijah because he fulfilled the prophecy in Malachi 4. Go read about it. Okay, where he turned the hearts of the sons to the fathers and the hearts of the fathers to the sons, man, through this word. You see, before the, the before the day of the Lord's terrible anger comes, man, that prophecy was fulfilled through our beloved through our beloved elder. All right, and you can receive it, right? But anyways, after three days and a half, Revelations eleven and eleven, after three days and a half, the spirit of life from Yahweh entered into them. What's this talking about? The Holy Spirit, the breath, the inspiration. Okay, the understanding of our power of these scriptures. Okay, entered into those of the elect. Okay, that were that were ordained to receive this 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 this, this truth since the so like guess since the foundations of the earth. Okay, you can read that read it, you can read about this in Ephesians in the book of, of Ephesians, man. Okay, let's continue on. And they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them, which saw them. Right, and it starts with the men of the Lord. Okay, starting with our elders and apostles, a great millstone on down to us like-minded men that the Lord put his spirit on. Okay, to go out to the highways and byways and do this work, to put up these digital epistles. Okay, to feed the sheep. Okay, to feed the lamb as commanded, man. You see, and this is bringing great fear upon who? The elite, starting with Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, and the rest of the heathen elites, man. Pursuant to Psalms, the 83rd chapter, man. Okay, all those that are in confederate against us, man. It starts with the one percenters. Because these regular Joe six-packs don't know what's going on. They're just as lost as Jake. Okay? But the elite understand exactly what's happening. on. Uh, so like, what's going on? What's happening? You see? That there's a change of God, a, a change of guard occurring. Okay? And this is this is completely of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. This is not of our strength, okay? Because each and every one of us were in the world, you know, not too long ago, man. Through. You see? But guess what? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai showed his mercy upon us. The greatest act of mercy was allowing us to receive this truth. You see? Why? Because now we qualify to hope to take part in this salvation we're going to read about here, okay? Revelations 11 and 12. And they heard a great voice from heaven, right? 
saying unto them, come up hither. You see, this is echoing Isaiah 26. You see? And you know this is going to be in the Lashawan Kodash. <laughs> you know, come up hither is going to be being said in the Lashawan Kodash, man. The Paleo Hebrew, right? And they ascended. When you ascend, you go up, right? And they ascended up, see, to heaven in a cloud. And the cloud, that's a buzzword for the chariots, man. Okay? Mind you, these chariots have cloud cloaking capabilities. You see? Hey, they could be chariots above me right now. They could be chariots above you right now. You just don't see them. Because they can cloud cloak. <laughs> You see, let's continue on. And the enemies beheld them. See, beheld goes into see. They're going to witness this. They're going to witness this great deliverance, man. You see? But check this out. What comes after this? In the same hour, Revelations 11 and 13, there was a great earthquake. Why? Because of the missiles, man. Those intercontinental ballistic missiles that are, that are going to be shot from one, from one end of the earth to the other, but primarily here on Mystery Babylon the Great, pursuing to Revelations, man. Pursuing the biblical prophecy, man. Jeremiah. It's all over the place, man. Okay? All the prophets seen it. Right? Let's continue on. And in and the same hour was there a great earthquake. And the tenth part of the city, Salakia. And the tenth part of the city fell. Okay, what temple? What city? This great city, Babylon. Okay, which when you do your research, what you're gonna find out is that there's uh, the zip code. The zip code goes from zero to nine. <coughs> Salakia. Yahweh Bashmi Shabaragata. Right, and not only that, but you have ten FEMA zones, man. Look it up. You got ten FEMA zones, man, which are gonna fall when the missiles start to fly, man. We're reading about it right here. Right? In the same hour was there a great earthquake, and the tenth part of the city fell, and in the earthquake were slain of men seven thousand. Is this seven thousand literally? No. Seven as in complete. A complete number of men. Okay, the the, the Lord deals with numerology, man. As well, but you gotta be tapped into the spirit to, to understand and to see that. You see? Continuing on. And the remnant were Friday. Who's the remnant? Isaiah 10. That remnant that's going to return. The elect. Okay, that's going to return back to the Lord. Okay? And no longer lean upon him that smote us, man. Which is Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, first and foremost. Okay? But those that are going to lean upon the Holy One, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and truth, man. The elect is going to do that. That's that same remnant. This is that remnant. See? With return, see, with returning back to the power of Israel, our power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, grants you access to being delivered, man. Lord willing, we're part of this thing. You see, this is what we qualify for right here. And the remnant were affrighted, and gave glory to the power of heaven, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The elect is gonna be calling on the Lord. Call on him, la Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Barakatah Yahweh. Baraka the Yahweh Shai. That's, hey, it's going to be a beautiful moment. Lord willing, we're a part of it. You see? Hey, and that's the point. <laughs> you see the chronological order? The spirit of life entering into us in verse 11. Revelations 11 and 11. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai calling us up to his chariots, man. Being delivered from what? The destruction that comes right after that. <laughs> The alienation of the Lord that we just read about in Isaiah 26, which we're going to go back to right now. And uh, let's read that from the top, Isaiah 26 and 20. Come, my people. See that? Enter thou into thy chambers and shut thy door. You see how this precept makes more sense now? After we precept it with Revelations 11 and 11. And shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment. Right, it's only going to take one hour for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to level this place, man. I think, what's that? Revelations 18 goes into that. It's only going to take one hour, man. Until the indignation be overpassed. Verse 21. 
Isaiah, Isaiah 26 and 21 For behold The Lord cometh out of his place To punish the inhabitants of the earth You see that? Why Lord? For their iniquity man You see that? The earth also shall disclose Disclose her blood And shall no more cover her sin And this is echoing Isaiah uh, 13 Going into how the Lord um, Will punish the world For their evil Let's go get that <laughs> And also uh, what Isaiah uh, 66 Going into how um, What was that The slain of the Lord um, What's that The slain of the Lord shall be many I believe it says, yeah, Isaiah sees that the slain of the Lord shall be many. And the Lord's going to come with his chariots. You see? <laughs> and fire like a whirlwind. Heavy. Let's get this real quick. Isaiah 13. So lock, yeah. Uh, There it goes. Isaiah 13 and 11. And I will punish the world. And it reads, And I will punish the world for their evil. You see that? And the wicked for their iniquity. You see? This, 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 this destruction that's coming, it's for the wicked. You can read about that in, um, what's that, Sirach 40? I believe it goes into it. These how these calamities, these scourges, death, destruction is for the wicked, and and, for, and because of them came the flood. You see, hey, this is gonna be a, a, the flood in, uh, on steroids, man. What's coming this time around? Cause it's not gonna come in the form of water. Water this time is gonna come in the form of fire. You see, this second death is gonna come in the form of fire. Okay, cause the earth needs to be cleansed and cleaned. Look around you, man. <laughs> Look at the filth. That's around you, man. The abominations that are walking amongst you. But let's continue on. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. And I will lay low the hardiness of the terrible, man. See? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, first and foremost, is on the crosshairs of this destruction. And that can be proven in Isaiah 63. Who's this that coming from, um, from Edom? Okay, with dyed garments of, from Bosworth, roughly paraphrasing. See? Come on, man. That's Yahweh Shai, man. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, is on the crosshairs of our power, man. Upon this great deliverance, that which is going to chronologically roll right over into a, a, a massive destruction, man. As it's written in the scriptures, man. We in it. You see? But ultimately, the point that's being made here is that the elect, Lord willing, we're part of that precious number, is going to be delivered up out of it. The elect is not going to take part in this, man. As a matter of fact, let's get this to further prove this point. Let's go to St. Matthew. Uh, St. Matthew chapter 24. And what's that? Uh, around 28, 29. Khan. Hey. Beautiful. The book of St. Matthew, chapter 24, and verse 29, right? Immediately. Let me read this again. Just in case for those in the back that didn't get this, the Christians that are eavesdropping on these lessons. Immediately after the tribulation of those days. What's this talking about? Jacob's trouble. Okay, the calamity and scourges, the famine, the teeth of wild beasts, the silver unrest, all that that the Lord's bringing, man, the pestilence. Okay, immediately after all that, check this out. Shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light. Now, real quick, I also want to make the point. This also proves that there's no such thing as a rapture. Okay, which you cannot even find in the text. Just proving more... Um, errors and falsehood uh, regarding Christ, uh, modern day Christianity, man. You see? 
Let's read this again from the top. Matthew 24 and 29. Immediately after the tribulation of those days. Right, Jacob's trouble, man. Shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light. Right, this, this truth is going to be unfound. It's going to be uh, not able to be found, bro. Okay? Amos 8 and 11 is going to activate. Remember, this word is likened unto the light. You see? It ain't not shining. Bro. All this for proving out people and telling you to repent and telling you that the Lord's coming back and telling you that it's going to be over with, man. You're going to be left to your own devices. Let's continue on. And the stars shall fall from heaven. And what's this talking about? This is a dark saying, okay, for the missiles. Those stars are the missiles, man. You see? And the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. Who are the powers of the heavens? The global elites, man. They sit in heavenly places, okay? They're living in sovereignty, in leisure, in comfort. They're in their heaven. They're in their blessing, okay? But scripture says, upon those stars falling, the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. And I believe there's also a, a, a scripture in Job going into how the wicked are going to be shaken out of power. And this is pretty much echoing that as well. You see, let's continue on. And then, and then shall appear the sign, right? The token of the son of man in heaven, Yahweh Shai. And we understand that Esau Edom, the so-called white man, is going to use a um, form of technology uh, called Project Blue Beam, okay, where they're gonna try to, uh, you know, falsify the return, or um, pretty much stage um, the return of our Lord. You see, but there's a certain manner that the Lord's coming. You see, so we know the Earth is gonna rock to and fro. You know, that's something that's gonna happen, and that's not that's nothing that's not something that Esau can can uh, simulate. He can't simulate that. <laughs> and that's going to happen in real time because the missiles are going to be flying to and fro. You see? Let's continue on. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the... Salakia. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming. Right, and that's Revelations 1 and 7. All eyes are going to see him. That's another thing. That Esau, Edom, so-called white man, through, through his project, uh, Blue, would have to try and duplicate. Everybody on the planet Earth would have to be able to see this. You see? That's going to be tricky to play, to pull off. Right? He, he can't pull that off. Let's continue on. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven. And remember, the clouds is a buzzword for the chariots. See? With power and great glory. See, right? Isaiah 47. The Lord is not going to meet these devils as a man upon his return. He's going to be in his splendor, his majesty, his glory, man. Man. He's going to be back. He's going to come back and he's going to be in that heavenly body. Pure power. Pure power. Let's continue on. And he shall send his angels. Here's the point. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together. Who? His elect. That remnant. From where? From the four winds, right? From the north, south, east, and west. From one end of heaven to the other, man. And this is that great deliverance that's going to uh, supersede, okay? The first exodus, man. This is going to be unbelievable. Let's get, let's close out here. Let's close out with that Jeremiah. We quoted it earlier. This is why it says this. We must be allowed to close out here. Uh, Jeremiah 23. Let me see.
Oh, let me see something real quick. Bear with me. Uh... Oh, yeah. I'm going to get this one. I like this context. Jeremiah 16 and 14, and it reads, Therefore, behold... The days come, saith the Lord, and we'll close out here through the Spirit, Lord willing, that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. Okay, and that's talking about North America. Okay, the very ends of the earth. The West, you see, you have a North America, Central America, and a Southern America, man. And the main gathering of the tribes is taking place in Northern America, Babylon, man. Why do you think Northern Kingdom brothers and sisters are so eager to come here? Okay? Because they're coming for one of two reasons. For salvation or for destruction and efforts to fulfill biblical prophecy. Let's continue on. But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north and from all the lands whither he had driven them. We just read about that in Matthew 24. Uh, 24. The Lord said he would commit, give, tell his angels to go, to go get the elect from the four winds, man, because we've been scattered. Deuteronomy 28 and 64. You see? And I will bring them again into their land, right? The Holy Land, Jerusalem, man. You see, where imposters dwell at this moment. You see, bastards are dwelling in Ashdod, man. You see, but there's a transition coming in. There's a transition coming in, man. And it's happening as I speak through the Spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. And I will bring them again into their land. That I gave unto their fathers, man. Hey, so we going home in a minute. Aki, I'm in Prophecy just has to be fulfilled and play out chronologically. You see, because it's all the Lord's will. You see, but we understand these things. So it brings comfort. You know, the understanding brings comfort. You know, but it's a hey, Lord willing. You know, we're part of that great deliverance, man. Whether we have to fulfill Deuteronomy 20 and 4 or Abaratazah. Abaratazah. Hey, our feet come off the floor, man. Okay, and we get caught up in that tractor beam. Okay? And the chariot, man. The chariot of Israel. One of the chariots of Israel, man. Abaratazah, man. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakak Kwidash Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone where I learned this 144% truth Lord willing you Akiyam and Akwath were edified Barakatha Yahweh Barakatha Yahweh Shai Kal Halalim La Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakak Kwidash Shalom.